arrived at my little Airbnb for the night, which is at the Astra Condos. Now, the reason I wanted to stay here was because when you go and look for Airbnbs in Chiang Mai, so many condos at the Astra turn up. They're so much more affordable than like, um, say, condos in Bangkok and things like that. So I really wanted to try it out. It has been on my list of places to stay. Last night, um, really late in the evening, I decided I'm gonna come to the city and just book one night in an Airbnb. It was this and Palm Strip Springs in Niman, but the Palm Springs in Niman, um, wanted to charge me like an extra 500 baht for taxes and charges. This had that included in the cost, so this actually worked out cheaper. Um, it is a little bit small, so I am going to show you a little room tour and hopefully go up to the pool and maybe the gym and just show you kind of the facilities that they have here at the Astra. They are kind of known as like the luxury condo, so if you were to stay here for a month, it would be quite um, expensive in comparison, to, in comparison to other condos in the city, although still very cheap comparisons to condos in the or, or apartments in the West or in the UK. I think a monthly stay in this particular one, one would be anything between three hundred and fifty to four hundred pounds a month. Which, if you, if you, if there's two of you, that's perfectly fine. But for me, as someone who's living on their own, I want to find somewhere cheaper, and I don't really want to be staying in this area. I want to stay in the man area. So I haven't really found anything yet. Let me show you a tour of the room. So when you walk in, you've got a wardrobe, which for some reason is locked. Weird. Um, but yeah, this is um, a condo. It, I booked this on booking.com actually, not Airbnb. Just because it wasn't much available on Airbnb last minute, whereas this particular one was on booking.com. So we have a fridge, which is really handy, and then a really small kitchenette. Some pots and pans which is handy if you want to maybe grab order some food like grab food or food panda um, and then some storage space kettle which is always good and a little hob which in thailand if anyone's ever been here you know you don't really do much cooking just because eating out or ordering food is super cheap and then a microwave down there and a washing machine which is the main reason i actually bought this not many condos in Chiang Mai have washing machines included because a lot of people go to kind of laundromats. Um, so I wanted to just do like a load of washing here. I brought some with me, so um, that's the main reason I booked it. Got a little dining table, and this is just a tiny little living room. It's got a TV, some storage space, and an air con. So now we have the main bedroom, which is a big double bed um they give you some towels which is always handy nice little i don't know this is like a little mini sofa bed maybe and then a balcony out there which is pretty spacious let me go outside <laughs> oh yeah it's definitely quite spacious views oh no it's starting to rain and i really wanted to go up to the pool for a little bit but I might go and check it out anyway. Okay, let's go back into the room. So yeah, this is a really nice, pretty bed. I checked in earlier just because I asked whether they have um, earlier check-in and luckily they did. Next up, hello, that's me. We've got a little storage space. Um, an extra pillow but it is quite dirty so I don't think I'll be using that lots of hangers which is always handy and iron very useful I don't have anything to iron uh, just some storage for some shoes and some drawers and I've got this little curtain here which is cute so you can just close this and then this is really cool actually so this is the toilet but it has two doors, so one to the bathroom and one to the main area here, which I think is quite cool and handy because you can separate your toilet and you can separate your main bathroom. I'll put one. Very nice window, windows, very nice mirrors, shower. Oh, they've even got a hairdryer here and a bath. Wonderful. Oh, you can open that as well so you get some sunlight in. So yeah, that's my little condo here. It started raining, but I am just gonna go up to the pool and just check it out and see 
what it's like. Let's go to the pool. So when you come out of your room, no, every so often you've got these like little mini garden areas here, which is nice if you want to come and get some fresh air. I mean, the apartment does have a balcony anyway. You cannot smoke here. If you smoke, you will have to pay a fine of five pounds. I guess it's quite cute if you just want to get some fresh air. I'm guessing this is another build. Oh, this is the Shangri-La Hotel. So the Astra Park condos are right next to the Shangri-La. That's that you can see into actually. One thing that puts me off staying there is it's got like a children's water park, I don't know if you can see, like there. Um, yeah, I don't really want to be around families and loads of kids. Pretty good views. Okay, so I found the pool area and it's all the way on the 16th floor. So you just take the lift and there is a security guard. So you just have to scan your temperature and you can come up. to come to the silver temple i'm not sure what the thai name for it is um but i can't get to it because they're deciding to cement all around it which means i can't get to it very annoying look at all this cement everywhere all around and the temple i wanted to go and take a photo of is right in the middle of it it's just everywhere this is typical there's this temple here, but I'm not really interested in it. I really wanted a photo of the silver. So in Chiang Mai, most of the temples that you come and visit to normally do have like a tourist map and things like that with a QR code and you can scan it. And sometimes they play a little YouTube clip. Now here's a map as well. You can see it all around here. They've got lots of like silver craft and antique shops. Um, but it's all empty. I mean, I'm the only person here and most of the souvenir shops are closed, which I'll show you in a minute. If you can hear those like chimes or ringing, it's the little lanterns all around the temple. Look how pretty it looks. I can't get to it. Uh, when it's windy, you can hear the little ringing rings. This side we've got all the little souvenir shops, a lot of like silver shop antiques, which are closed. Um, it's really sad to see actually, and this I think is the main temple which looks really nice. When you're approaching the temple as well, there's like little huts and houses and you can hear like people banging on like silver things and I think they do a lot of silverware, souvenir and stuff around here, so I'll show you that in a minute as well. So behind there you can hear all the banging, all the whacking and I think it's people working on all the silver wire. But I'm going to get out of here as it's time to get back to the apartment and just chill by the pool. So I think this area is renowned for silver wire which is right next to the temple. And those are the little chimes that you can hear when you're walking around everywhere. There's a cute little coffee place in this um, condo, but it's closed, as you can see, there's no one here. But the lobby is really nice and really pretty. 
just been chilling by the pool at the Astra Condos and someone who lives here and owns a condo told me to go upstairs and check out the garden and it's so nice. I did not know about this so I'm just going to show you all. It is so pretty and so big and if I that person had not told me to you know had not asked me if I've already been here um, I would never have known that this is here you get a really good view of the city from up here and it's so spacious you could so easily come and do some yoga in the evening or just come and chill out and read a book the sun does set right behind those mountains, so you can't really see it from up here, but it's still so pretty. If I could pick a condo to stay in, I would be staying in here, but unfortunately, I can't afford monthly rental for this place, so somewhere cheaper for me will have to do. go back down to the pool because I want to see what it looks like now that the sun has kind of set. So good morning from the Astra. I have just got up. I went to the gym for a little bit, not very long, only for about half an hour just to see what it was like. So I just popped downstairs and I got myself a nice latte and just some pineapple chunks. It was from one of those just like food truck stands and this was 20 baht and so was this. So all together my breakfast came to 40 baht. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this vlog of my stay at the Astra Hotel. Let me know in the comments if you've ever stayed here before or if you've stayed in any really nice condos in Chiang Mai. Um, I would love to know about them and try them out. Also, let me know if you'd like to see anything Chiang Mai related or what sort of videos you'd like to see next. See you in the next one.